tussle between governors and chief ministers. This is happening in opposition ruled states. A question may be asked. Are the gaps in Indian constitution responsible for the friction between governors and chief ministers in some states? Are the gaps responsible for that? Such a question is expected. Here you see, discuss with relevant constitutional provisions. In some of the states, to, you have to make a beginning by mentioning tussle is there. Some of the states between governors and chief ministers, they clearly be evident. However, however, this is happening in opposition ruled states only. At the same time, there are gaps in the constitutional articles, no doubt about it. I mentioned various articles pertaining to this governors. You see, Article 163.1, Article 163.2, that means Article 163, if you see, he is aid and advice, that means Council of Ministers with the Chief Minister as the head, aid and advise the governor, but except in exercise of functions where discretion is required. This particular discretion, this is prone to varied interpretations. Second is Article 167. Governor is empowered to ask the chief minister to furnish any information. This is the second one. By taking advantage of Article 167, the governor of one of the states, that is Tamil Nadu, he is conducting regular review meetings with the secretaries. And that created a lot of friction. 174, governor can also summon, prorogue and dissolve the legislative assembly. The governors have to follow the convention. As per convention, he does so on the advice of the council of ministers unless the council of ministers loses their majority. But these conventions are violated by some governors. There is tussle on this front. Then Article 178, that is about the election of the speaker. Even that also on flimsy grounds, the file was sent back, probably Punjab governor. Then Article 200, there were several gaps in Article 200. Some of the governors interpreted when the bill is kept with them. That is treated as died, but Supreme Court clarified you have no four options, three options. When a bill is coming to you, you simply sign it or send it back to the legislature for reconsideration or reserve it for the president. And here also the gap is time frame, right? Still they can delay. Next is Article 356, even after several judgments. Of course, now Article 356 root is reduced for imposition of President's rule. Article 361, immunity granted to the governors. So, you see, there are several gaps. But the important aspect one should not forget. What is the way forward? The working of any constitution, in fact, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar said, the working of any constitution does not depend wholly upon the nature of the constitution. In fact, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru also said on similar lines, the working of any constitution does not depend upon the nature of the constitution. The constitution can provide only the organs of the state and, it, and the functioning of the organs depends on the people, depends on the political parties. This clearly indicates why is there tussle in the opposition ruled states with the governor not in the same party ruled states. The onus is on the center to take the states along, especially opposition ruled states in the spirit of cooperative federalism. At the same time, the states should also realize that if there is no coordination with the center, it is the states they are bound to suffer, they are bound to lose. On these lines, you can close and in fact, this is the apt closure for this particular question. And this constitutional gaps in the interpretations. This is a very, very important issue. Thank you.